Hi everyone, it's Nicole Slater and it is day number 29 of the 30 paintings in 30 days. So excited. So just one more day after this. So let's just get this painting going and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, bye. Okay, so I'm very excited and I'm not sure obviously what I'm painting, but all I know is that um, I have been enjoying these more simple process as far as the big blocks of color and texture so we're going to keep that going and I think today where's my yellow today um, I think today here's my yellow um, I'm going to go with a warm sunset and kind of go from there so I'm going to start putting in some warm color in here. And the, um, like I said, sometimes I'm in this like cool mood, sometimes in a, I want things to look warmer. So today I'm going with a kind of a warm and I'm not even sure, I think I'm going to introduce a little bit of my violet into this color palette with that. So with the little bit of the clay or the Indian red or the, what's the other name that they, it's actually called a red oxide is what they, they're calling this one. Um, it reminds me of that other Indian red that I used to use. Okay, so, um, now I'm gonna put in some clouds here. And it could be, I, I, I think I talked about this before, I love like seasons and sometimes I'm inspired just by that season. And so that could be part of why I'm wanting to do these, um, this warmer palette today. Okay, that's fun. I like that. I'm happy. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm gonna let this sit and start working on the horizon line here. And I'm using a little bit of my violet. I'm just kind of working that back down. Kind of bring this all the way in here. And uh, yeah, I like that. That's a nice, nice palette color. I like the warmth. It's kind of a fall feel so far. And then I'm applying just, again, I'm going by just instinct and color blocks. And I'll come in and rework the things also. But right now I'm just trying to tell a story and uh, see what I can come up with. Every day is a little different. And I usually come up with things in my mind in the morning or late at night, I'll think of things. This one came to me somewhat, this feeling at least I should say, came to me, um, not, the, not so much the imagery, but the idea of warmth came, up, came to me this morning. So, um, so sometimes I actually see the physical image and sometimes it's just a feeling. And so this time it was a feeling. So that's sometimes how I, and then I kind of go with the idea of, okay, well, if that's my feeling, then what, what is, what is that meaning? Or what, what is How am I going to make that happen? Or what is it that I need to do to make that work? So that's kind of um, what I'm doing right now. And again, I'm working with different plane levels, different feeling in my, my the motion of my brushwork and um, kind of just telling a story right now, I guess. And I put myself in these positions where I, you know, kind of almost feel like I've been there. And that was the other thing that I love about these is I truly do. I feel like a lot of times I've been here or it feels really familiar. And so that's kind of fun for me because I, afterwards I like to go back and just kind of do research. Like I would Google um, a landscape with, you know, rolling hills with bushes or whatever it is, like maybe I put a fence in there and I'll say walking trail, um, 
purple sky and I just for fun kind of look online just to see if there's any f photos of or photography of anyone who did something recently that maybe somehow I saw it or I don't know I always want to know like what made me think of that so um, so a lot of times you know when people say how do you come up with these ideas I seriously do not know but I will tell you that they do come to me and I, I honor that so that's when you see something it's just something that was in my head and I'm again honoring that if you see me using all these different brushes it's just for the camera because I don't have time to really clean a lot of them in between so I did have someone the other day ask you know why are you changing your brushes all the time and it's not that I'm really wanting to it's I almost am obligated to because I only have so much time on this camera to to do these and I also you know for me to clean them properly I have to put them through the you know the washer here I don't know if you can see it on camera but I have this washer I have to clean it and I have to wipe it and it gets to be a whole process and so just for for this particular situation I'm just trying to to demonstrate and show you guys what I'm up to and kind of go from there so okay I'm liking this I hope you guys are too I think it's fun um, what I'm going to do is just do a few little manipulations on it and make it my my little signature. I called it the Nicolesque painting. So I'm just kind of creating these made up scenes in my head. And um, what I what I've been doing is putting them on my my blog and on my website, so they are for sale. And then eventually, I'm taking them off. And I, I know I've mentioned this, but I just I want to make sure everyone knows because I don't want to let down anyone. So I'm going to take them off my site soon um, because I'm I'm going to be framing them myself. I think here shortly. So um, just giving people the opportunity in case they do want to get one before the prices go up and before I have them framed. And that's really why I did it. So okay, I'm just going to do a few little rolls in here, and I am happy. And just so thankful that you're here too and I just again want to thank you because I know your time is important too and I hope that that these are somewhat um, informative whether they're inspiring you to like my paintings or if they're inspiring for you to start painting one way or the other I hope that they're doing something for you and um, because I know that you being here does a lot for me and I, I appreciate every bit of it. So that's, um, that would be my goals to, to give back that way. So, um, okay, you guys, thanks again so much. I'm just gonna get my big brush that I like to do and um, just work in some of these larger areas and just soften up some things in here. I don't like to overdo it. And the reason why is because usually my my first, when I first lay down a color or a, or a, or a uh, yeah, a color, or even a, a motion or a movement of work, it's usually my my best. So if you start changing the paint too much, the initial expression of what I was doing, and that's why I call these expressionistic paintings, it gets lost in the translation. In other words, I manipulate it so much that it loses a little bit of its character. So I'm, I'm going to leave a lot of this the way it is. So when you see it on my site, you're probably gonna see it pretty much how you're seeing it right now. So, all right, thanks again, you guys. You have a fabulous day and I appreciate you always. Cheers. Okay, I just completed my number 29. I'm so excited and I'm laughing. I think I broke my own record. It was, it just came so quick and so easy to me. And my takeaway was I, you know, I woke up, I thought warm and I thought inviting and that's what I went with. So I think this painting just, it, it just oozes warmth and, and happiness and I hope you can feel it. So check it out on my blog and always run with your heart and uh, just make people smile. Take care. Bye.